from our BoxyCharm unboxing. I have not opened this yet. I just cut the tape. So it was going to be the first time I'm seeing this. But it is now May. So it's going to be our May BoxyCharm. So let's open this on up. Um, I just got it out of the mailbox today. So I'm pretty excited. And I have no idea what's in this. I kept myself from looking. Um, so we have this. I do know there's some Makeup Geek items in here because we got the emails and all that coming out um, letting you know that. But it is Spring Bees this month. It's more than a feeling. Um, you have your little chance to win here. So this is really cute. Um, and then you have all your prices again on the back. I love that they do this. I know the one month they didn't, so I'm really glad they brought this back. Um, so first here, we have another little card. It says on Snap. This is a 25% off. Double the fun on um, the Pure Cosmetics. So purecosmetics.com, you get 25% off. So that's kind of neat. That's a little extra gift. Um, so the first thing I see in here, it says the brow. So let's see what is this. This is the Brow Gel by Tonya Crooks. This is a clear water resistant brow gel, so that's exciting for summer. Anything water resistant, I'm definitely excited about um, with summer, swimming, sweating, whatever it may be. Um, and this one, um, it says, holds your shape of your brow perfectly. Where'd it go? Um, works with pencils, powders to seal and protect brows for anyone. To cool, too cool to fuss and too busy to reapply. Go swimming on the beach so you can swim with this, do hot yoga, and don't worry about your brows coming unhinged. Um, you just apply one, apply one sweep and your brows are a finished look. And this is $20, so you pay $21 for your BoxyCharm and this product right here is at full size 20 bucks. So your BoxyCharm is basically paid for. So that's an awesome um, deal if you ask me but I'm not gonna open it up um, it is in the plastic here but it's just a little black um, I like the packaging it's just very normal um, nothing too extravagant but it doesn't feel very cheap either and um, I will see how this works hopefully I will like it then we have a polish with love this is an Ella and Mila nail polish. Ooh, I really like this color. Um, it is cruelty free and vegan. It's very cute. It's got a little elephant on the box. This one here, let's see if I can find it. This is a five free nail polish. Um, a quick driving and ch quick drying. Let's see if I can talk today. And chip resistant. Um, it's certified by PETA, so it's totally, I guess, um, natural and not gonna harm didn't harm anybody in making this product any animals or anything like that so I do like that is this apply one to two layers on your nails allow them to dry each coat um, and then finish with a matte or gloss top coat and this product right here is ten dollars and fifty cents so it's a cute little polish I love this color um, that's really would be cute for spring but it's great for summer too um, so as you can see my nails are chipping so I probably will actually apply this after this video and um, actually I'll post a picture on Instagram so you guys can see but I really like the color of this it's very cute and I can't get the there we go it is a very strong scent um, but most nail polishes have that anyway but that one smells super super strong um, but I really like this color hopefully it lasts a long time and a little elephant on it that's really cute then our next product is the one that I'm very excited about. Um, I believe everyone that had already had a BoxyCharm has got this product. And if you were new to BoxyCharm, some people did and not everyone. Um, just because of the demand that they had for this, they didn't have a full amount um, for everyone. But this is in the Makeup Geek Blush that they had. They had some eyeshadows. Um, I think it was last month or the month before and I absolutely love them. I love Makeup Geek. It's an awesome brand. Um, this is a $15 product. Um, this is a, I think it's a creamy, no it's a powder but it's still very creamy. But this is very pigmented as you can see there. It's very pretty. It's a full size. This is the XOXO blush. So this is a very pretty. I actually am not wearing any. So let's see what this. It 
swatches very well. Let's see what this looks like on the cheeks. That is very, very pigmented. I'm going to switch that over to blend that out. So this is definitely a blush you would want to just lightly apply because it is very pink and very pigmented. But I really like this. It's very pretty, very girly. Um, I really like it for like spring or summer. It's just a very pretty pink blush. Of course, the packaging is great. It's got that magnet there, so it shuts on its own. If you can see, once it gets close, it kind of shuts on its own there. I'm not pressing that. So this product is amazing. Um, I love all of the Makeup Geek products. They're great. This packaging is very hard it's metal so very impressed with this I like the color um, it's not normally the pink is not something I like more the peachy I'm kind of lighter pinks but I like the pink as well for blush I'm um, just not something I wear every day but I really do like the Makeup Geek products this is great I'm very excited about this product then our next one we have I think this is a perfume it is let's see what is this Yes, it's a deluxe mini sprayer. It is, I hope I don't butcher this, but I know I am. Catherine, Catherine Maladrino. I know I just butcher, butchered that. This is the product. Um, it's just a little kind of travel size deluxe sample. Um, and it is a $20, well, this is $20. Um, it says spritz lightly for any occasion. It's a intimate floral bouquet. I don't know if I'm going to like this. I don't like floral scents very well. I've smelled that before. It smells like something, another scent that I recognize, but I don't know what it is. I do like it. It's very light and fresh, but I don't know that it's something I would pick out for myself. It smells very sweet. But I do like it. Actually, I like it more than I thought I would, but I'm not sure it's something that I would pick to wear normally for myself. Like if I was going to the store, I probably wouldn't purchase that. But it's it's not bad. It's not I was expecting to hate it and I don't hate it. The next we have the pure um double duo double duo yes double duo ended eyeliner this is a $21 product so this right here is the exact price of your boxy charm and you got one product um, this is a two-on-one double ended eyeliner with multitasking must-have tool it's smudge proof everyday definition to or to create a sultry smoky eye Use liquid liner to create bold intense for that perfect cat eye. To apply pencil or liquid liner in short, quick strokes along lash line, starting at inner corner and working your way outward. So this has dual ends. This is what it looks like. This is obviously in the shade brown. Let's see what the name of the shade is. Um, Tasmania is the name of the shade. I like the brown. I can get it open. This one is the pencil side. And that's it swatched. Has a good swatch to it. It's very creamy. I feel like that would be good for your waterline because of how creamy that is. I feel like it would last also probably blend pretty well for the smeltery eye and then this is the liquid liner I like that it's still ended because then you could use it on the top and for your waterline if you wanted to match I mean you don't have to obviously and that is that there I really like the tip of this it's the felt tip which I am a fan of and it's really like bendable like that really pushes against your skin if you can see how that it bends there so I really like this actually. We'll have to try that. I don't have any felt tip brown eyeliners just because I don't usually do like a cat eye with a 
brown. I usually just go bold and go black. So I will have to try that out. Um, maybe do a video on my next look with that. Kind of more of a not so bold look with a um, wing. That would be kind of neat to do. Um, if I like that and find it easy because I still have trouble doing a cat eye. But I'll have to try it out. Then our next item is, let's see if I can find it on here. It is the Star Looks Luxie Lip Liner. This is product is $19.50. It is just kind of a nude um, lip liner. It is Charmed Ultra Longwear Lip Liner. Let's open this bag way up. It is for full coverage, long lasting, to enhance is the shape of your lips, giving them perfect contour definition. This creamy moisturizing formula glides on softly to smooth lips. Highly pigmentation. Line the tops, bottoms, follow the same application all over your lip. I hate these plastic things. And it's just a pop tube. And then it is just a twist up. No, it is not nude. It's like, well, it is a nude, but it's like a pinky nude. And that's a swatch. It's very creamy as well. So I really like that swatch there. My hand is a mess. I apologize. But I was really, I'm really impressed with everything that we got in this month's BoxyCharm. Especially, I think my favorite products are going to be probably the brow gel, just because it's waterproof. And I don't have to worry about wiping my brows away, which I do all the time. And definitely, I love the color of this nail polish. It's definitely my favorite color of anything in this box. And then the blush, the Makeup Geek. I love that they are including Makeup Geek products in the BoxyCharm because a lot of the, some of the times of these items, I don't know the brands of with BoxyCharm. I feel like that's one of like, at least of the people that I know personally, like that's some of their complaints. Well, with BoxyCharm, I don't know the brands. But I know Makeup Geek, and I love Makeup Geek products, so I love that they're putting them in BoxyCharm. That makes me really super excited. But I hope you guys enjoyed this month's BoxyCharm unboxing, and I hope to see you back next month. Um, also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this and some makeup tutorials as well. And please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed. I will see you next Thursday and Tuesday. Bye-bye.